Did you know that there are ghosts in the Bible? I always wondered why some people claim that ghosts are really just demons in disguise, when the Bible clearly states that King Saul had a ghost of a person summoned, and it worked. Hold on. King Saul? You mean the king that lived and reigned before King David? Yeah, that's all. He was worried after Samuel had died, and had a fear that the Philistines would come into his camp and destroy him and his people. He did not know what to do, and his right-hand man was now gone. So Saul decided he would try to get help from a dead guy. Saul went out in search of the Witch of Endor. This lady was well known in the area as someone who could summon people back from the dead. King Saul, however, had made a decree that anyone who was found bringing back ghosts would be put to death. When he reached the witch, he told her she would not be harmed. She was hesitant to do it, for fear that this was a trick to kill her. However, Saul assured her that she would not be harmed. When the witch found out it was Saul, she was furious. But Saul kept his promise. According to the text, Saul did not see Samuel. The witch was the only one who could actually see the ghost. Then she told him what she had seen and heard from Samuel. Saul believed everything that the witch had told him and went away sad and frustrated because he had been told that his kingdom was going to be taken away by David. Looking at this story, I can see the same tricks that many psychics use today, where they know people by cold reading and find out what they want from the session. When it came to the ghost of Samuel, not once did the text say that Saul actually saw or heard him. Instead, the witch told Saul what she was seeing. She could have said anything she wanted, because she already knew it was the king and what he wanted. It does not take a rocket scientist to see that the witch knew what she was doing. She knew how to make Saul believe what she was doing. Saul was in a desperate situation, and when people are at their lowest, that's the best time to strike and give people exactly what they want. I'm sure it was no secret to people in Saul's kingdom that he was going to lose his throne and David was going to be the next rightful king. When I look at this story, nothing has changed. We still have people who claim to see ghosts and communicate with the dead. I'm one of those people who loves to watch ghost shows. I look at the shows on TV and the people who claim to have seen and talked to ghosts, but they never have evidence to prove that they can do that. Many, I believe, are just simply acting in order to have an audience and make some money. I mean... It's super easy to go into a dark old building, throw rocks at your friends, and make sure you capture every little sound that old building makes. Some people are masters at making people feel what they are feeling is real. We not only see this in the world of ghosts, we also see this in the world of religion. If you are someone who is depressed and in a bad place in your life, religion can prey on that. People will go to psychics or to church to make their lives better. They are put into programs that claim they can make your life better. And if they can't do it here, then they will do it for you in your next life. The never-ending list of grifters is astounding. And as long as people continue to lack critical thinking skills, the more religion, spirituality, ghosts, and many other forms of woo will continue to grow in the world. It will not be until people can see reality as it is and stop hoping for reality that they want to exist. Thank you for watching my video today. If you would like to support me, click on the links below. And remember, only you can break out of the bubble and start thinking for yourself.